I went through a phase of embarrassment around just the word Jesus. I felt I could notice some embarrassment coming up in certain contexts or publicly. It's one thing to say it to somebody in a conversation, but in a public way it was almost like a threat to an image. And so I think for a lot of people in we'll say the Judeo-Christian world, which is pretty far-reaching, I think that took me, it took me a number of years to kind of like be rinsed of it, so it's not, it wasn't something that was like just a quick pop it was gone, it was actually went through a lot of rinse cycles, mm -hmm. and I think it's more of if what the mind is associated with and comfortable with and familiar with, mm -hmm. so and that's the general context for this, it's taking you out of the familiar, mm -hmm. so um, I think there was a time, I think when you, you were here, this, you know, the latter part of you being here, and it was a whole association with just the teaching, don't ever take the Lord's name in vain, and yeah. and you just had a lot of anger up that day in church, and just decided Let to curse a blue streak in the <laughs> chapel, because it was part of that rinsing of that, you know, almost like a threat, like don't, don't ever take the Lord's name in vain, like, you know, some, some of us were told that when we were children, as if the Lord has an ego to be offended by profanity or mm -hmm. or that. It was, it was more just like, you know, that, that God and love is sacred and <coughs> don't ever forget how sacred love is or how sacred you are. That's the, really the positive interpretation, but, but when it comes out, you know, is don't take the Lord's name in vain. It's almost like there's a threat that there'll be some huge consequence Mm -hmm. if you ever do. Mm -hmm. But that's more of an anthropomorphic God. And it's a lot of washing free of any of the, the connotations around the words. Yeah, he does say in the Course, forgive me your illusions, so you might say that, that when you do see the images and so forth, that that's, that's part of the, the forgiveness of letting go of whatever meaning. Because Christ is neither male or female or man or woman, and it's, it's a washing free of all that and and so forth and the neighbor even came over and said what what happened to you and she said I've been forgiven and the woman said what are you talking about and she said it's it's just a love it's all God and love and then the woman asked what church do you go to and she said no church and then the woman was well, you know, it just started off with that, but so now it's kind of gone more to just uh, uh, it's a it's an expression that comes through, but but it's it's not so much of what the world would call Christianity. Mm -hmm. It's just coming from a, an experience, mm -hmm. but it is good just to watch any feelings you have around the words. And mm -hmm. I had to watch that when I was just beginning to go to course groups and speaking <coughs> in and noting noticing little tinges of. Mm -hmm. Embarrassment and you know, hmm, what's that? What have I got going on there? You know, it's mm -hmm. good, good mind watcher. Mm -hmm. um, I remember I was in Colombia and a young woman had come up and and said, uh, I have a question to ask, but I'm way too embarrassed to ask it in front of this large crowd in Cali, Colombia, was around homosexuality and which she was identified with and which in this predominantly Catholic mm -hmm. country, you know, just the very idea of bringing up the question, you know, she couldn't even imagine doing it. So she told the, the translator who was doing it mm -hmm. in, in an enclosed booth to tell me mm -hmm. after the break to explore the topic. So we did, but that was just the way the spirit took it. So it could be explored in a way where it wasn't too threatening and she could benefit from the whole answer, but, you know, there was no personal threat to that. And that's also why we we encourage a lot of mind watching with movies because a lot of times you can identify with what's going on with the characters and you can see the transfer value in your own life, your own mind, without that if it was happening directly to you, it would be way too intense. Right. I've always seen that as the value of travel. Because you know, it just it's like fish out of water, you know, it's when you're in the same environment and the you know, they say familiarity breeds contempt. It's that, that there is something very sneaky about familiarity that can seem to be cozy and comfortable, and yet.
yet it's you know can be delusional as well and and not seen as delusional and that's the sneakiest of all traps to have self-deception and not be aware of it so